Bang, needs knives. Jared, with my lovely wife, Kara. Hello, and, and we are at the park today. So, uh, just forget about some noises if you hear them. We wanted to redeem this thing. We did keep it and um, broke it in finally. As you can hear, no noise, sounds really good. The action is amazing. The action was always amazing with the access lock and the drop. You know, it always had a free drop, no blade play, no lock rock. It was always solid like that, but it's just, if I didn't use the, the access lock and I pushed it down, it used to be so gritty. Well, um, I kind of knew that if I just kept messing with it, it would eventually break in, but I took it apart. And because what they do is, um, just really quick, we also picked up a mini grip. We're gonna throw this in here and do a little thing with this. But a guy told me um, after we made the video that the bug out was the only one that they put this coating on the access light. Titanium you know, the, oxide, is that what it was? Titanium, titanium nitrate, nitrate coating. Trait? I don't know what the coating is, so don't take my word for it. I didn't look it up or nothing, but this one comes with a coating and that coating basically has to be scraped off. And I didn't actually scrape it off. I just kept using it. What I do is I took it apart and um, I worked the access lock really good and I kind of uh, cleaned up where it's rubbing because what it was doing was when I disengaged the lock, it was rubbing as it was going down, it was rubbing against the back of the liners. And that was making it super gritty to the point to where, I mean, it was obnoxious. Well, um, you know, the grip that, doesn't do that at all and we just got this this one's brand new and the action is amazing it's also locked up um it came a little tight but i just barely loosened the pivot and it's still you no blade play tight? that clip yeah this <laughs> clip is insane we understand where the name griptilian comes from because this thing is going to griptilian your pants right off i don't remember my other one being that tight it's not that tight no but I'm saying i've from the heard beginning, from i've the beginning. heard from the start people saying about this clip like making jokes about the name griptilian and stuff because this bumpy uh frn scale under here mixed with this really look at that oh whoa 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 look at that though it's it's on there and it's got some ramp and everything but it will tear your pants up yeah at least at first the other one if it was tight like that from the beginning it broke right in and now it literally slips Can I in something out else of about my this? pocket go ahead my my other one disappointment with this is apparently when they started sw putting oh. these in s30v instead of 154 cm when they started doing that they switched this from a hollow grind to a flat grind i am very disappointed we wanted that. that slicey hollow grind and what what made me upset was this. i told you jared i said it i was like i bet if we look up the g10 version the real expensive yeah. version guarantee that one's in a hollow grind and guess what yep. it is so, you want so i feel like grind? they just want you to pay 160 yep. bucks just to get the hollow grind now because not enough people were probably buying the g10 because this one was perfectly fine so yeah that's a very disappointment because i do want the hollow grind um, I, the, the knife still, I mean, sharp. It still does cut very well. It's a little thicker behind the edges than I like, but this is a perfect EDC shape. I love this. is one of my favorite blade shapes. I love this. And yeah. it's going to get put to good use. But to redeem. How is the thinness behind the edge, though? It's, it's a little, it's Even not as thin as I want it. These two, this one's definitely thinner behind the edge. I just worry that but not when we keep sharpening it, it's just going to keep getting fat. They do have the same the blade edge. stock thickness, though. At least it seems like you know maybe the grips a tiny bit thicker actually it is a tiny bit thicker so the grip is a tiny bit thicker but um for the stock but the even behind the edge it's a little bit thicker too they look almost the exact same but either way this is a saber grind the mini grip so the flat grind in this it's a full flat grind so it basically just keeps you know getting thinner and thinner this one starts yeah, from halfway up the knife fatter. yeah since it's the saber grind it doesn't start with the edge till right there and then works its way down so but i love it i'm going to use the hell out of it getting back to this so we can redeem it this is an awesome knife it was very very crappy though that it was so gritty because it took it did take i mean literally let's say if i would have just put this in my pocket and didn't sit there and flip it and flip it and flip it 
I don't know how long it would take to break in, but I'll tell you what, I probably did about three years worth of flipping on this thing yeah. to get that gritty to stop. Most people said that theirs went away in a couple days. I don't know how much flipping that takes. I know it took me constant flipping for hours a day for at least two to three days till it went away. And you know, the thing that it's like, okay. And also I took it apart. This is the thing with it is when I'm spending or we're spending more likely a hundred plus dollars on a knife, I don't want to have to uh, scrape off some supposed coating right. to no, get that action. I, that. I'm just paying for the action. I'm not trying to work for the action. And then the other thing that sucks is, especially coming from a company like Benchmade, where somebody who's getting their f- maybe possibly like first hire a knife could very easily go for a Benchmade because it's so well known and it's American. They sell them at you know, Bass Pro and Gabela's. So it's really likely that somebody could be getting their first knife. And then if this is what they get and they don't know better, they're not going to sit there and break it in. They're just going to be disappointed and yeah. never get into the hobby if this is what they happen to start with. Right. And that's kind of where I, I frown at Benchmade is like, you know, you shouldn't they make shouldn't people... Put the coating on there. If you're going to make are. us work for the action, don't charge us for it also. Right. That's my point. Yeah, they are a little bit pricey for what you're getting. But you know what, though? I do love the knife. I love how light it is. I can wear this anywhere. I can wear this to the gym. And you don't feel it. I yeah, love that light. Is we are cool. planning on switching the scales to a titanium version. I really do like those light ones, though. It's our we'll only see one how like it. Goes. it. Um, one or the other, we're going to do that with. Yeah. But even with the titanium scales, it's still under three ounces. I think it's only 2.3 or 2.8 ounces with the titanium scales. Sorry, if you get the titanium scales. But the action's amazing now. It's literally, and this came right out of the box with um, action like that. It still does have a little stick. If you can hear it, listen. Not as bad as it was, though. At least you can actually fling it out full force without having to use two hands to break yeah. it back down. I mean, if I do it just like that, it's not too bad. But if I fling it And it's it only hard, getting better. It definitely gets a little sticky. But between these two knives, um, both the, the stop pins are the same size. This one's obviously a little heavier. Um, I do like them both. I don't know which one I like more. I know this one will probably they're, cut. They're too this different. one would cut better if it had that hollow grind. They're too different to compare for me. They're I, I want to compare them. I really do. Well, my thing, and I'll say quickly before we wrap this one up, because I know um, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is just a little redemption here, not a comparison. But if we're going to compare, I love this hole. I, I love I love the whole. Yeah. We um, we don't have any PM twos or threes right now. Uh, we we borrowed gave some and yeah. we sent them back. So it's like right now this is like kind of like my um, shout out to Timbo and Outpost uh, seventy six. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you know this is kind of like my like like my substitute paramilitary. So for now, I like this one better at the moment just because it's newer and I'm just having fun with it. But I like the bug out for you know different reasons. It's very hard to compare these two in my opinion just because they're both bench means i don't actually think they're comparable knives they're just kind of it's they're different categories um besides the access lock thing so yeah it's redeemed itself it's very nice and um i mean they do still have the warranty so you're pretty much paying for that because you do have a knife for life if you do get it so that's awesome um Oops. yeah i do i I might like the mini grip a little bit better. I don't know. This one is super I like the with- look of that one. I like the action of this one. I like the action of them both, but I, I love this blade shape. I love it. I love how thin this one that is. I teardrop wish teardrop handle just fills your hand <coughs> nicely. If this was too. a hollow grind, it'd be no comparison yep. to me. If um but this one does have a little bit thinner, you know, edge. So all right, um, one more thing. I do want to throw a shout out to Bama Knife Guy. Check his page out. Oh, that awesome guy? Awesome guy. Yeah, that guy. That guy. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, guy. That, that down south guy. So, um, but yeah, he's a good buddy of mine, of ours. Ours. And ours and, I'm uh, friends with him. Check his page out. We talk. He just started, so give him some, uh, some love, guys. Yeah, he his videos are it. great. Watch the hot sauce one. It's hilarious. Really nice guy, though. Great guy. Great guy to get to know, and we are very happy to be friends with him. So, bang. Bang. I'm never doing that again. I'm bad at it. Okay. All right. Bye. Um, Bye. Hold on. I'm not off. You're not off? Where's the button?